Welcome back to the SFOM channel and thanks for tuning in. In this particular episode, I wanted to give you an update on Comet Atlas C 2019Y4. Uh, it has been all over the news that this Comet has been breaking up, but I wanted to check out if I could still image it with my small refractor here. And uh, apparently there is a relative, Comet Atlas C 2019Y1. And uh, yeah, this comet is still alive. It's currently orbiting the sun. So I wanted to see if I could capture that comet as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm always visiting this website, the Sky Life, whenever I want to find out the latest information about uh, near-Earth objects and comets. So when you go to the comment section, you actually have this beautiful overview of comets that are currently out there in our solar systems, uh, system and which ones are available for imaging. So you get uh, accurate information about the position of the comet, uh, the brightness of the comet, and uh, yeah, that's really, really useful. And uh, you can see here that currently we have Comet Swan in our solar system. Uh, unfortunately, it is at a declination of minus 25 degrees. So this is good news for people living in the southern uh, hemisphere. So Comet Swan is currently at an observed magnitude of 7.5. And an estimated magnitude of 10.5, but I'm always looking at the observed magnitude. And with magnitude, it's just uh, the lower the number, the better visible the comet is, basically. And um, I'm always looking at the observed magnitude because this information is actually based on... Um, yeah, astronomers who, uh, who observed the comet directly, who made some pictures uh, of the comet uh, during the last couple of days. And uh, this information is usually more accurate than the estimated magnitude. So the estimated magnitude is calculated apparently by uh, NASA's uh, Jet Propulsion uh, Laboratory. But yeah, I can imagine that you have some kind of model, uh, you know the path of the comet, you know the speed of the comet and the trajectory, and maybe you have some information on expected behavior, but still comets are highly unpredictable things. So um, um, I would advise always to look at the observed magnitude here before going out there and imaging uh, a comet. And I was actually wondering if anyone in the south, uh, in the southern hemisphere already uh, imaged Comet Swan. So I went to some pages I follow, Nova Dawn Astrophotography. I would highly recommend that you also follow her on, on Instagram. She has some beautiful uh, pictures. And, uh, but she didn't uh, include a picture of Comet Swan yet or Dylan O'Donnell. I was thinking maybe Dylan, uh, yeah, he needs no introduction, I think, uh, if you don't know him. Uh, check out check out his YouTube channel, but um, no, don't see don't, didn't see any uh, a picture of Comet Swan yet. So uh, I, I, actually, for anyone who lives in the southern hemisphere, uh, this is a great time to go out there and try to cap uh, capture this comet because uh, yeah, it's it's really at an observed magnitude of 7.5. If you have a small refractor and you have an equatorial mount, you are really really. Um, um, yeah, I, I think you would be surprised uh, the, what kind of picture you can get. Um, and then, of course, in the northern hemisphere, it's all been uh, yeah, gl uh, gloom and doom. Can you say that? Um, because we are, we're, we're completely focused on Comet Atlas C 2019Y4. Um, but you can see what's happening here. So the observed magnitude, so over the past couple of days, the observed magnitude is 9.1. And there have been reports that Comet Atlas is actually breaking up. The nucleus is not visible anymore. Um, so uh, I, was th I was thinking I'm going to image uh, Comet Atlas uh, Y4 just to, uh, to check up on this comet and to see uh, if it is indeed the case that, uh, that it is currently at this low observed magnitude. Um, but then there is another um, uh, visitor, Comet C2019Y1. And uh, yeah, you can see that it is currently actually at an observed magnitude of 8.0, whereas it was expected to be at uh, a magnitude of 13.5. So I will also try to image this particular uh, comet. Uh, uh, and some people might wonder why all of these uh, comets are called Atlas. 
Huh? Um, so for those of you who do not know yet, this is, uh, there is actually an ATLAS uh, project. So the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. So ATLAS in short. And they, uh, they have some sky um, survey actually where they look at all kinds of near Earth objects that are potentially threatening uh, or uh, are potentially on a path uh, towards Earth. And um, yeah, so uh, that's where the, the name ATLAS comes from actually. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to image uh, Comet Atlas C 2019 Y4 to see how it's doing. And then hopefully, because um, you can see here, um, Comet C 2019 Y1 has a bigger uh, observed of our lower observed magnitude, so it's brighter. I actually want to do a time lapse of this comet, but um, for me this is tricky because it's uh, although it's very high in the in the night sky, it's at a declination of uh, 72 degrees. It is currently uh, located in Cassiopeia, or Cassiopeia, or Cassiopeia. Anyway, and uh, my house is then in the north, so, so I'm, I'm, I have clear views towards the south uh, uh, and uh, west and east, basically in my bel uh, on my balcony. But uh, towards the north, it's just uh, yeah, uh, my my own house, so it has to be very high up in the sky in order to image that particular comet. So yeah, um, let's see how it goes. There will be one particular challenge for me when trying to capture Comet Atlas C 2019Y1. And that is that uh, the, the comet is currently located in the constellation Cassiopeia. And uh, according to my calculations it will just about hit uh, my rooftop, uh, which you can see over, uh, over here. Uh, I'm currently building a new terrace and you can see these white uh, wooden beams sticking out. Um, so if I'm lucky uh, Comet Atlas will pass in between those wooden beams and I can still kind of do a time lapse of that uh, comet. And if I'm unlucky then Cassiopeia will just be below my rooftop and then I have to quit uh, the imaging session. So let's see how it goes.